Billy Purge, how are you doing this wonderful Tuesday? <laughs> sometimes I forget. When you live in a small village like I do, sometimes you forget uh, what day it is. But it is a great day. Why is it a great day? Because we made it that way, right? We dictated from the mornings to the evenings to the noon times, and we never let something else dictate our reality, do we? Of course you do. Everyone does. It's just us being aware and conscious of it to make sure it doesn't happen. But today I want to talk about something else, and that's, do you really do what you say you're going to do? You know, everybody says, oh, you're the sum of the 10 people you hang out with. Or uh, if you're in a room that's, you know, when you're the smartest one in the room, change the room. Or surround yourself with people that are highly inspirational and more about productive and yada, 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 yada. People hear that. People say that stuff all the time, right? They say it. They say it. They say it. You read it in every book. You hear it in every motivational speech. There's like memes on, on Facebook and LinkedIn all the time about things like that. How many people do you know actually do that? Do you actually do that? Seriously, do you actually do that? Do you surround yourself with people at a higher level, people that are pushing you pushing you through your threshold, or are you stuck in the same rut you've been in for a while? And I want to go hard here, my friend, because, hey, Joseph, any room for me to move there? Uh, brother, you wouldn't know how to handle it, bro. It's like you got to be psychologically prepared to move here. <laughs> now I'm sure you'd be able to handle it. You're a Marine, right? Shit, you got this easy. Anyway, so I'm going to go hard here. People say this all the time. Yes, um, I've got, you know, I surround myself and I'm, I'm doing my best, but I see the same groups of people on Facebook, on Instagram, or wherever they are, LinkedIn. It's like a group of people. They're always together doing the same thing. And you're like, well, yeah, that's my clique. That's my, yo, that's my gang or whatever, right? But uh, what about expanding that for yourself? No one's going to do it for you. No one's going to come down and say, hey, the big guys aren't coming down. You know what? I've been watching you. I want to make you famous or I'm going to make you rich. Or I'm going to make this or that happen. If you're not constantly reaching out, making things happen for yourself, Putting yourself in uncomfortable situations, striving to be surrounded by people. And, and this is the deal, though. And there's a step before this because a lot of people will step and strive into uh, making, um, you know, the, the, the move to, to move into a surrounding of people that are, that are at a higher level or more accomplished or whatever it is. But they don't know what to do there, right? So they feel intimidated and not sure and not sure how to do Hey, Michael, you too, brother. Hey, Johnny B. Scott. Hey, Olga. Hey, Joseph. You're like, okay, I'm here, but now what? I don't know what to do. Well, that's the step you need to deal with before. And, you know, I know you hear me talk about it all the time in Lane as well, is you got to get the book. This what's it say right there? Own your presence in life. So owning your present means, presence means you know exactly who you are, what you're capable of, and your true identity. And when you know that, nothing on the outside can intimidate you. Nothing. I don't care who it is. They can't intimidate you. They can't shake you. Why? Because you're not worried about what they think. The only reason people are apprehensive or you see it even on, on LinkedIn when, you know, someone comes online who's like super famous. Oh, my God. Hey, hello. Ho. Already they're throwing themselves at his feet or her feet. And no matter how high they are, suddenly you see them as a lower tier. Why? Why? Because we've been dest we've been trained to do that. Oh, my expectations are higher now. Oh, I got I to gotta step up. I got to show them that, I, that I'm really part of the deal or I can take care of it. It doesn't matter. You make your way because of who you are. You make your way because of the way that you go about life. You make your way because owning your present, when you own your presence, nothing stands in your way. You can crush anything that you put your mind to. That's a promise. Now, it's not going to happen automatically. You still got to work towards it. You still got to make things happen. You still got to set the plans. You got to implement the operational procedures, all these kind of things, right? These are all these kind of things that we, we, we got to go through. But I want to ask you, when was the last time you were in a group where people were like way out of your league? And you felt comfortable. When's the last time that you sat down with five people, four people, three, even one person that is like way up there? When was the last time you did that? First thing you're going to find out is this. And, and, and this is going to freak you out, but it's true. First thing you're going to find out is this. Every single person, as long as they're in their comfort zone, whatever it is, if they talk about business or they talk about spirituality or whatever it is, they talk about sales, real estate. As soon as they're out of that comfort zone, they're you. That's how they feel, the way you felt right, right when you walk into those rooms, right? And so when you, hey, Olga, thanks. So when you, when you think about that for a second, like, okay, so if I'm in a conversation with Grant Cardone, Grant Cardone is, you know, well-known. He's in real estate. He's big, blah, 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 money, big time, billionaire, multi-billionaire. It's a $2, $2 billion portfolio, things like that. You meet him in a sauna in a club in Germany. He's not in his element. You're going to meet him in a different level, Right. It's just, it's, it's not only who you meet, it's where you meet them. It's how you present yourself as far as 
um, embracing your greatness, embracing your, 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 your presence, embracing your true identity. They're going to see that in you. Hola, Janet. They're going to see that in you. They're going to see that something's inside of you that doesn't make you intimidated. You're not kissing their ass. You're not trying to get something from them. You're not trying to show that you're like a big fan or something like that. You know, when I was working for Mick Jagger, um, I saw it all the time. People came, oh, Mick, I'm such a great fan. I'm such a big fan. And, and he'd be like, yeah, thank you. It's like he's so sick of hearing that. When I walked up to him, like, hey, Mick Jagger, how you doing? That was how I approached him. He's like, hey, I'm doing fine. How about you? Why? Because I talked to him like a normal person, right? Because he is. He's a normal person, just like everybody else. Okay, maybe he's super rich and never had a day of privacy after his 18th birthday. But, you know, he's another person just like I am. So you approach everybody the same way. But you can only do that when you know who you are. And through that, so, so finding out who you are. I don't care what anybody says. I was in a lot of these clubhouse rooms today. I was in one clubhouse room today. It was full. I was there for five hours. Amazing. And I heard a lot of people say a lot of things. And one of the things I heard was, that's bullshit if it's not uncomfortable, you're not growing, and if, it's, if you're not working 24 hours a day, then you're a fucking loser or whatever. Everybody has their own opinion. What fits you? What fits you? Me personally, if you're working 18 hours a day and you think that's the way it's got to be, I sort of feel bad for you because you're going to die of a heart attack or you're going you're gonna to grow old painfully. Whatever the case, that's your deal. If you believe in that and that works for you, then go for it. But that doesn't mean you as a listener, oh man, now I got to do that. What fits to who you are, to your personality, to your identity, to your purpose? What is it that's important to you? Is it important to you that you grind 18 hours a day so you can provide for a family that you don't get to see? Is it important for you to spend more time with family and less time with, at your job so you need to find a job or find a career that sort of leverages less time for more money? What is it? Where do you want to go? What applies to you as a person? What applies to your personality, to your family, to your situation? What applies to you? People don't ask themselves these questions. I need a job. I need money. It makes it doesn't matter what I got to do. I got to work. Da, 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 da. Everyone who's young does that. But after a certain age, you're like, you know what? I don't need to work 18 hours a day, 10 hours a day, even eight hours a day. I don't have to work eight hours a day. People don't believe me when I say that. They can't, they, they can't comprehend that you don't have to work a lot to make a, uh, enough, put it that way, or more than enough. You know, it, it's, it's something that you have to internalize first. Is it possible? You're damn right it's possible. More than one person does it. Anyone who says that it's not possible, never tried it. Or they have a business that's completely 100% dependent on that person. I have a client right now, a possible client right now, that very successful business, but wants more revenue but can't scale because everything is stuck at the bottleneck at this leader. And they can't scale because this person controls everything. So what do we got to do? We got to delegate the task, not the responsibility. We got to hire more people to make sure that we can actually cover what's going on. Or you take contractors in that pay you rent, provide a service, not only for your clients, but they're going to bring new clients in who use their service and your service. So you're going to increase the revenue, you increase the volume that you can take in from clients and you have no cost. You're actually making money because the person's paying rent. Just as an example, I don't have a shovel in my hand. I'm not working wrong. Exactly. Uh, hey, Johnny, I've been there, man. I've been there. Like, geez, I'm, I don't know what to do. It's a weekend. I, I should be doing something. I got to be productive. I got to be... Productivity doesn't mean action work. Productivity means thinking, it means sleeping, you're productive when you're sleeping because you're refueling. Productivity is dreaming, it's, it's meditating, it's journaling, it's all these things. That's all productive. It's all productive. So, you know, I, just don't believe the hype out there. Unless you're out there and you surround yourself with people that are amazing. You know, I, I got to say, I was in that room today in, in the Clubhouse app with Grant Cardone, um, um, uh, Tony Watley, uh, Jason B. Lee. Uh, jo uh, yeah, J J uh, Jason B. Lee. Jason? No. Oh, Joshua B. Lee, sorry. Um, his wife. Uh, man, it just, just uh, Glenn Lundy, all these people. I was in there on the speaker stage with those guys together. Dude, I wasn't intimidated at all. I was speaking my truth just like they were speaking their truth. And it came across that way with, with everybody who, who spoke to me. So, hey, Arnie, how you doing, brother? Never tried it, but making my way there. We'll try it. We'll, we'll get tried today. Try it tomorrow. Start. Just start. Make a decision. Flip the switch. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm going to do it right now. How's that sound? All right. Okay. That's that's my that's my my daily splurge, <laughs> my daily purge for today. Hope you're doing fantastic. Um, get out there and get it. Just 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 go on the internet right now and write somebody who you think is way over your over your 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 line. Say hey, you have any groups I can join to follow, or just join a group of 
Join, I mean, Tony Robbins group or whatever. Just join groups where you're going to get content. And I got to tell you, that Clubhouse app, you can listen to it without being part of it. And just listening to that in the background every day uh, has changed a lot as well for me because it's pretty amazing. Because you just listen to these high-level people all day talking, giving advice, talking, giving advice, talking, giving advice. All right, everybody. I hope you're okay. Have a fantastic one. And remember, it's all about quality life. See you tomorrow.